Hello and welcome to the Only Way is Open Source. In this short video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Joomla locally on a fresh install of Ubuntu. To do this, I've put together a short user guide which is available via the description below for if you wish to download and utilize. So let's get started. To begin with, we need to install PHP, MySQL and Apache. All the commands for this video can simply be copied and pasted from the guide into the terminal, like so. Just ensure that when pasting commands there are no big gaps like this between packages. It will prompt you for your sudo password. And then it will suggest a number of other packages for installation as well. Just hit Y and enter, and this will download all and install all of the required packages. Next, we need to download Joomla. So launch Firefox. And do a search for Joomla. And head on straight to its download page. Download the latest version. In this video it's 4.3.2. Once it's downloaded, we need to extract it. So, copy this command. This will ensure that the zipped directory, its contents will be extracted into var, www, html, and joomla. Ensure that you put your own username where it says username. This is the username of the user that is logged into the computer. So in this instance, mine is Tarios. Once done, hit enter. The next phase requires us to make changes to the php.ini file. The default con configuration file, which contains numerous variables that applications such as Joomla utilize. It's here that we need to amend configurations for the variables responsible for file size limits and timeouts, for example. So, to do this, I'll use the nano editor by grabbing hold of the following command. whereby the editor, nano, will then load php.ini and this is the file. Within this file we have several eight changes to make. The first one, we want to enable max input vars. So in the editor, control W for a search and enter max input bars. Remove the semicolon, this will enable it, and increase its size to 5000. Next we want to do a search for memory limit, so control W again and then enter memory underscore limit and change this to 512. Next we want to do a search for upload max file size and we want to change that to 256 
then want to change the post max size to 256 as well we want to increase the max execution time to 300 we want to change the max file uploads and lastly we need to do a search for output buffering equals note the space after buffering and then the equal sign this is currently set to 4096 and we want to change this to off so that's it, that's all the changes we need to make to the php.ini file. So we hit control X, this will bring up the prompt asking us if we've saved the changes that we've made. Hit Y for yes and then enter and that's done. So now we just want to load the Apache 2 service which is the web server. So to do that I'm just going to copy this command, paste it in the terminal and to check that it is in fact up and running if we just head on over to Firefox let's get a new tab up and we'll go to http full colon forward slash forward slash localhost and as we can see Apache 2 is up and running now we need to set up MySQL and the database that will be used for Joomla. So we just need to start the MySQL service. So you can either copy this command and paste it in or we can type it out. I'm just going to copy and paste it. We then need to log into MySQL. For now there's no password so just hit enter and we're in. And we can see by the prompt as it says MySQL. Now we want to create um, a database that Joomla will use. In this instance we're going to call it Joomla underscore DB and just to confirm that it has in fact made the database if I just type in show databases semicolon here we can see Joomla underscore DB. Next I want to create a user for this specific Joomla DB database. So the user is going to be called Joomla user. <coughs> it's for the local host and its password will be password123 exclamation mark and the ampersand sign it's got a capital P we want to give the user permissions for the database and then we want to flush privileges and that's it so if we just quit MySQL Next we just want to secure the permissions of the Joomla directory so we're going to change the ownership of the Joomla directory to www-data as we've now made changes to this folder which is um, within the web server we just want to restart the Apache service that way the changes that we just made will take effect. So now we want to actually install Joomla. So if you head on back to Firefox and this time HTTP 
full colon forward slash forward slash local host forward slash Joomla and this will load the installation page for Joomla and here we are Joomla install language English UK the name of our Joomla site in this instance I'm just gonna call it website dash one set up login data the real name of your super user this is the uh, first name and surname of that particular person as I don't have a particular person I'm literally just going to type out first name and then last name the username for the super user account I'm going to keep it real basic and just call it super user with a capital S and a capital U and the password I'm going to set to complex one two three exclamation mark and ampersand sign which is pretty much what I've set in the instructions with regards to an email address you are required to put something in once done set up database connection the database configuration page this is going to require all of the information that we did at step 4 database type is MySQL, MySQLRI we are using, using local host the username that we created for the Joomla database was Joomla user and its password was password with a capital P one two three exclamation mark and ampersand sign the database name we'll leave as it is we did actually create the database called Joomla underscore DB so that's fine the table prefix in this instance we probably don't need to make a note of it but it would do no harm in quickly jotting it down somewhere the connection encryption will just leave as default server controlled hit install Joomla and that's it congratulations your Joomla site is ready I don't need to install additional languages we have two options we can either open site and this will basically present the website as it currently is and in the instruction step four that's what it will look like because there's nothing fancy done to the website it is literally just a fresh install so that's that's what you'll get or you can open administrator where you'll be asked to uh, log in as your super user in this instance I'm going to click open administrator and there we have it so we type in our super user credentials so the username was super user with a capital S and a capital U and the password was complex with a capital C and then one two three exclamation mark and ampersand sign and log in And that is our administration console to Joomla. Joomla is up to date, extensions are up to date, and it is looking as it should do. To view the site, we just go over to this button here. Remember we called the site website-1. If I click that, this is our home screen to our Joomla website.